Hello and welcome to the Juno CLI Options Learning Byte. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After successfully completing this learning byte, you will be able to view and modify Juno's CLI options. The Juno's operating system allows an administrator to modify their experience, their interaction with the command line interface. In operational mode, there is a set CLI command that allows you to modify options. For example, the complete on space. That's a handy command to have when you're, when you're doing a lot of, of CLI administration on the platform. The, the ability to type a partial command and, and hit the space bar and have it autocomplete. I can turn that off, right? I don't need that. Um, I can also change my default working directory when I'm logged in to this platform. I can set an idle timeout, so after a certain amount of inactivity, I'm automatically, my session will be terminated. I use the set CLI command also when I'm working with a platform that has multiple logical systems configured. I can use the set CLI command to, to enter a particular lo logical system in view and, and manage its configuration. I can change my prompt. I can configure it to restart on upgrade, so if I am connected to a platform doing a software upgrade, after that update is completed, my client refreshes so it can you know, take advantage of the newest features and options available on this newly upgraded platform. I can set my screen length and width, change my terminal type, and even include a timestamp to the commands that I execute on a particular Juno's platform. So all these options are, have default values set for them, but I'm able to modify them using the set CLI command. I'm going to connect to a Juno's platform and we'll experiment with some of these options. I've connected to a virtual MX router and I'm in operational mode. There is a show CLI command that you can execute that will show you what the current command line value, option values are. And so I can see that I'm set up to auto-complete commands by hitting the space bar. There is no idle timeout. Right, I, I'm set to automatically restart if I do an upgrade. There's my length, screen length and width. I like that. My terminal type. I'm operating, this is enhanced Juno software. There is no timestamp configured. And there's my working directory. Remember, Junos is based on, on FreeBSD Unix. And so just like any Unix operating system, when you I'm logged in as a user called Lab, the username of Lab. And so when you log in by default in var home, there's a folder created called lab, and that's my default working directory on this platform. Now, all of these options can be changed, right? So, so let's experiment with some of them. So I want to run a set CLI, and I want to turn off the complete on space, right? So, so I can turn it on, turn it off. I'm going to really frustrate myself and turn that off. And so what that really does to me is now when I, when I try to auto-complete commands, it, it won't let me. And that's really frustrating if you're having to do a lot of work with the CLI. So I want to go ahead and set that back on, right? It won't auto-complete. What's, oh, this, I have to type the whole thing? Let's turn that back on so I can automatically finish command. That's a little bit frustrating, isn't it? Um, I don't have an idle timeout. Let's set a, an idle timeout. I'll set it. It's in minutes, right? So, so I'm just going to set an idle timeout of 10 minutes. And I can also, if you wanted to change your terminal type, the default is X term. You can, you know, change it to VT100 is another common one I've used. So just whatever works with the, with the platform that, that you're interacting with. Uh, let's set the timestamp. Now, now doing that, you, you can change the format if you'd like, but the command is simply just set CLI timestamp. Now, anytime I enter a command on this Juno's platform, that command is set. So if I run a, you know, show CLI command, like, you know, to view what we're doing, the output of that command will include, you know, a date and time that I actually executed this command, right? And so, so those are some of the options. Now, if I run a show CLI command again, you know, I can see some of the things that I've changed. Let's... Let's change our working directory, right? There's a set CLI directory command. I'm going to be doing a bunch of work in var logs, saving things, outputting things. So I want to save myself a little bit of typing by changing my, my, my default working directory. So I just say set CLI directory. I'll change it to var 
log, right? And so now when I do a file list command, instead of seeing the contents of my home directory, var home lab, now I'm viewing the output of the file listing from the var log directory on this platform and where all the syslog files are stored. So those are just some of the examples of how you can personalize your, your, your command line options to make it a better experience for you when you're managing or administering a Juno's platform. In this Learning Byte, we viewed and modified Juno's CLI options. Thank you very much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths, Juniper Networks certification program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence, and the training community. From forums to social media, join the discussion.